Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got a little uh, bit of a haul here today for you. I've got this uh, um, Ranger Glossy Accents and I've got it here so that I can tell where my camera is, or I should say my phone, because I'm having, you know, difficulties getting things figured out. <sighs> and uh, so far, I like this. So hopefully, what I'm going to show you gets on this video good. So the first thing that I got was I picked up these Jelly Roll glazes. And they came in a pack of, hmm, I think eight or ten. Or maybe nine. Yeah. So I've used a couple of them so far. I've used the white, and I think I've used the black. And you'll see those in my completed pictures. But a lot of people have been using them, and I just love that puffy glaze look to it. So I thought I was going to, I thought I'd like to try them. So I picked up the, the set because I knew I'd like some no matter what I would I would be able to find a use for these another thing I picked up uh, were the Gelosity Bic Gelosities I love these gel ink pens I I had a set a complete set a couple of years ago I got them and this is a 0 0.7 so it's a really nice line it's not too thin it's not too thick it's almost like a writing pen and maybe that's what it is I don't know but I like them um, for detailing stuff in my in my pictures and they come with as you can see like a multitude of colors and there's I think there was um, two pinks and maybe two purples which is great because those are the ones I run out of usually first anyway so that's the big velocity. And this is the Faber-Castell Abruptur watercolor pencils. They're not in this case. I've already put them in a pencil case. Excuse my nails. I forgot to do them before. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are going to laugh at me. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is, I just got them last week. This is Sunday the 20th. So I got them last week sometime and I tried them out just a bit on a, on a piece of paper just to see how they felt. And of course, being Faber-Castell, they feel wonderful. So now comes the time to experiment and see which books are going to work the best in and hopefully going to have something to show you by the end of the month. I also got these. I, I have, I'm not a marker person, and I've said this before, but... I find that sometimes I, I want something to do that isn't a pencil. And I, I have some, um, the Gelosity that I just showed you and a few, um, what are those called, Sharpies. But I wanted some colors other than the ones that I had. So I got this Arteza set, and I think there's a hundred in here. So I got them put into their own little pencil case. Now, these are water-based. So they, they seem to do well. I've done a couple pictures, like just trying them out in some of my coloring books, and they were, they were great. Uh, they did not work well in the Satch and Satch Diva books. Um, the ink spread all over the place. So those books don't take water-based. I'll have to maybe find a small set of alcohol-based for, for his books. But for what I need, I thought, well, this will be great for the times that I just don't feel like using my pencils or don't want to paint or, you know, just to give me another option. I got a uh, Canon tracing paper. I've been putting a sealer or a fixative, I guess you call it, on my pages because I, I had some that the the color, the pencil color, was on the page opposite it, just from rubbing, I guess, or opening it, and the page is shifting in the book, and it really irritated me. So I had started using the fixative to stop that, but that's really a pain in the butt. And 
I don't do it every time I finish a page, so then I have to go back and look for the pages that need to be done. So what I thought I'd do is use this tracing paper after I finished a page, put my tracing paper on top of it, and that way when I do go, or if I do go to use the fixative, I'll be able to find those pages easily instead of having to go through every book again. So ultimately that's what this is for. Plus, it's good for tracing. It's intended purpose. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a try and see how it see how it works for me. Got a couple coloring books. I've got this Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah, Hannah Lynn. Um, I'm a little bit different than other people. I, I think differently because of my illness. But I don't like collecting um, all the works of one illustrator. The only one I have more of than one is Hannah Basford because those were the first books that I found and I didn't really know what was happening or what, what I was really liking. And I think I have three of them and as you can tell, or probably don't, can't tell, but I'm gonna say it is that I just got wore out with, can't, with Hannah Basford books. I just, yeah, it's gonna be a while before I look at one again. So I made the decision that when I get a book by an illustrator, I'm not going to get another book until I, by the same illustrator until I finished all the pictures that I want to finish in that book. It doesn't mean that I have to finish the whole book, but I'd like to finish more than just one page or two pages. I would like to get more than that done in the book, like the pictures that I really love. I would like to get those done before I buy another book by the same illustrator. I live in a very tiny apartment. Uh, you probably saw, um, maybe you didn't, but if you see my uh, space, my coloring space to tour, it's very small. Like, the space that I color in is half of my apartment. It's the dining room and half of the living room combined for all the stuff I have. So I don't, for one, all that kind of stuff, more and more and more makes me feel worse and worse and worse. I like I like everything that I have that I'm working with. I need to have it in sight, but I don't want to collect. I'm not a collector. Collections, if I start collecting, then I want the whole set, and that's just not a space that I'm willing to go to. So this is my first Hannah Lynn, and it'll probably be my last Hannah Lynn until I get a good portion of this book done. I do like the pictures that I've uh, seen in here. I imagine every one of you has seen these many times. I didn't, I hadn't, so we'll see what I can do with them. Next book I got was the Halloween special by Coloring Heaven. Now this, of course, being a magazine, I do get regularly. I don't get them every month. It depends on who I like and who I don't like. I decided to get this Halloween special. There's some pictures in here that I don't like that I'm not going to do, but I'm going to do the ones that I really like. And there's quite a few in here that I that look interesting and that I would like to color. Um, and being that some of them actually could be colored at any time and not necessarily be for Halloween, uh, because of the witches and stuff like that, they can all you know be creepy or whatever kind of pictures. So I do like this one. I have been working on a page so I can't show you that one. I'm working on the zombie page. I'm gonna have that one done for the end of the month. It's just about done now. So this, I'm not sure if you've seen all of them, but it's a, it's a good representation of several different artists. So I really like this one. I think she's just cute as a button. So I'll probably do her. And this one, I think she's just adorable. Look at this little guy down here. <laughs> Looks like Jack Skellington. Oh, got that one. Now, I got this one, even though I don't like this. I'm not going to say I don't like this style. I find this style of, of illustrating very overwhelming for me. I've seen people, some pictures that have been done, and they're absolutely stunning. I have an idea of what I want to do with this book and these pictures. 
I'm not quite sure if it'll work or not, but I have an idea. So hopefully it works, and if it doesn't, well then I'm only out one book. And last but not least, I got Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes, or Rosanis, excuse the mispronunciation. I really like this book. It's not as complicated looking as some of his other ones. So I think I'll really enjoy working on most of the pictures in here. Um, some of his other books, like I said, are just way, way overwhelming for me. I think this is just the coolest picture I've ever seen. And this is my favorite. I would really like to get this one done. I think it's, my mom is Russian, so I'm going to have to look these up and see if I can get some color design or some that look just like this and follow the colors because, yeah, I'd really like to get that done. So everyone, that's uh, what I've hauled so far this month. And then it's a little past the middle of the month. It's the 20th, so I guess it's a couple days past the middle of the month. So I had a, enough. I thought I'd do this and give you guys a little preview of what I got and maybe what I can get finished before the end of the month. I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.